and that's all we do for adventure. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Conf Hollywood Studios here and welcome to the Coaster Mania vlog here at Cedar Point. It's about six in the morning right now. We're just waiting for the shuttle that'll bring us to the front of the park because it's a long walk up there. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a fantastic event. Uh, if you guys saw the vlog that I posted Friday that was filmed on Thursday, you would have seen that there's an issue with Magnum on the track. Um, I've been told they fixed it, so Magnum should be open today. Dragster was also down last night, but supposedly they fixed it too. So that'll be open for ERT, along with Millie and the front v &M. So this should be phenomenal, and we'll see you guys in the park. So we just got off of the tram from Breakers to the front entrance. This is my first time ever being at the front entrance. This is really, really weird for me. Um, it was a great ride. It was a great ride. Definitely the best ride of the day so far. But... So we're gonna go get in this long ass line. It looks like. So we'll we'll see you guys on the inside. We got through that line. We have our lanyards here with the full itinerary. Looks like our first ERT will be from seven to nine on Millie, Val Raven, Gatekeeper, and Raptor. We got Ace here. Ace, how you feeling, Ace? Tired. Yeah, figure that. So we're gonna get ready to go in once Wyatt decides to show up. And yeah. All right, guys, we're now inside the park. You can see this massive 150 sign that we haven't gotten to see because we didn't come in this way but uh, I think we're probably gonna head to Millennium Force once the ERT starts, about 10 minutes. So we're gonna get up here. Looks like they have people stopped up there, so let's see how this goes. So we are over here by Millennium Force. The line is all the way back over the railroad tracks. It's a pretty long line. We're still gonna wait it out though. Ride this maybe once or twice and head up to the b in the front. So let's see how this goes. So we're over here by Millennium Force getting ready to ride for ERT. Uh, it's a little past seven. I'm guessing they're just having a little bit of delay with testing right now. But um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to get on Millennium Force. Rode it once yesterday in the front. I don't really care where I ride as long as I get on. Millie wouldn't open, so now we're doing this thing. We got off of Val Raven Raptor twice actually. We did Raptor twice. And now we're heading to Gatekeeper. Raptor's fantastic. Thing is really flying. Uh, we didn't get very back row, we got seventh row, but it's cool that we got two rides in. So yeah, we're gonna ride Gatekeeper and probably head to Millennium after. We just got off Gatekeeper in the front row. So did Ace. Ace, what'd you think? Was it good? We're going to Millennium Force next. So, we're gonna go grab the pictures now, but Gatekeeper's really good in the front, actually. I think I might have grayed out the first time. After those drops, that was really, really fun. We're gonna head to Millennium Force. Getting ready to ride Millennium Force or ERT. <laughs> Oh, 
On to New Riders. We just got off of the world famous Millennium Force. I don't really remember where we rode. We rode somewhere though. It was really good. This ride is just so fun. And I don't know where we're gonna head next. We'll ride this again. Depends. We are walking over to Steel Vengeance to beat the early entry crowd and be the first riders of the day, I think. So Ace, how was Millennium Force? Millennium Force was great today and fast. Anything else? Nah, that's it. <laughs> we got Bob from BK Photo Page here and the sidekick Wyatt. We're all about to go on Maverick along with big old Ace. We just got off of Steel Vengeance and you're not going to see it in this clip, but it's trimless and it's flying. That was unbelievable, Dad. What do you think? Oh, it's fantastic. Just like when we first rode it. Yeah. Even better. What did you guys think of Steel Vengeance? Trimless. The trimmers. Trimless. Trimless. Oh, okay. no trims. <laughs> it was insane. Actually, we might be able to catch a trimless. Yeah, Let's see how it goes. No trims. Beat that trimless voyage. Before Dragster, we did the buffet, which I did not like, but uh, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Dragster. I just rode in the back row, and yeah, this is, I think this might be better than Ka. Um, it's very intense in the back, and the air time you get on the top hat is just unbelievable. Um, Dad, how was your front row ride? Oh, it was spectacular. Yeah, this ride is really good, and the lap bars make it so great. One weird thing, though, with the headrests is the fact that when you put your hands up, they kind of get pinned in between, like, the tight headrests, so... It's very weird, but it's still a phenomenal ride. So we got off Iron Dragon in the back. It was it was all right. And now we're going to go do Magnum in the front. So we rode Magnum. Magnum was all right. Very rough, but the air time was great. Yeah. Over here at this store, I'm going to keep this quick. Clip quick because of the song. The Frontier Trail Craft, where all the coaster cutouts are. Two massive ones that are plenty of force in Maverick. We saw Shield Vendors yesterday. We just took the big ace group photo and now we're getting ready for the Maverick walk back tour and there will be camcorder footage from that. We'll be all inside the field over there. walk back tour and that was incredible it is so cool to get shots of maverick that you never would have been able to see before um yeah that was really really good expect a fully in-depth off-ride video of maverick now if it's not already out and yeah that was phenomenal all right guys just got off of the boat ride snake river expedition that ride was really cool um the pre-show was absolutely great the actors did a fantastic job i have a full video of the ride Linked in the i card in your top right hand corner. Uh, yeah, what did you think of Snake River? Oh, it was cool. I, I thought it was really good. And really yes, good you do get a little wet on this ride if you're sitting on the right and on the left side. But yeah, that was really cool. I think we're gonna go get ready for the Q and A up at the front of the park. So we just got off a second of back row ride on Magnum, and whoa, this ride is way better than I used to think it was. 
I used to kind of see it as one of the weaker coasters here, but you know, this is one of the better coasters here. What do you think, Dad? Oh, it was good. It was really good. It's Much better than I thought. Super aggressive. It's I. This is unpopular, but I like it better in the back than the front. But that was that was impressive. Very very strong airtime, and the roughness is actually it's smoother in the back. I mean, it's not the smoothest thing in the world, but it was smoother. Way, which is expensive, unfortunately. We're just looping back up and hit some other parts. Yeah. Really pretty expensive when it comes down to this. Oh, wow. Into the Q&A we go. As far as I know, we cannot film. There's Tony up there. So we just got out of the Q&A with uh, Tony Clark and a few other higher ups at the park. And a lot of interesting things were said. Um, one thing that I picked up on the most, and I know my dad did too, is that Cedar Point is looking to offer unique experiences to the park that you cannot find at any other park. So um, that means don't expect an RMC Raptor or stuff like that. They said they will still do stuff so you can find at other parks. But it's gonna be but unique. It's, it's gonna be unique. To each they, park. To each park. They hope to implement that across the chain. But Cedar Point specifically is going to be focusing on that. And they also said that their five-year plan would have 100% shifted. And that they're currently working on a three-year plan that they still haven't finalized. So, yeah, a lot, of thing, a lot of interesting things were said there. And we're going to go on a shopping spree now and then head back to the room to rest. About the ticket of, how about the ticket of a lifetime? Uh, yeah, that's right. The winner of the scavenger hunt got a ticket of a lifetime, which is really cool. really cool. So we came back to the hotel room for a little bit to chill out before ERT starts and to charge some of our devices, but we will be heading back in there soon. We are back in the park, getting ready for some ERT on the kitty coasters and then the arrows. We've been waiting so long for this stupid little thing. So we rode Gemini twice. Uh, I rode it once to the front, once to the back. It was great. But let's talk about Magnum for a second. It was trimless. What it is was your reaction? Absolutely insane. I, it's a totally different ride. That is definitely one of the best rides I've ever ridden. Yeah, I'm gonna show my face because it was that insane. Bob, Wyatt, what did you guys think? I mean, that's, I've been coming insane. here for 30 years and I've never had a ride like that on anything. Yeah, no, that, that cemented itself as one of the best rides here. That is unreal. Uh, I think we're gonna head to Dragster. And then after Dragster, we're heading back to Steel Vengeance and Maverick. Just got off Dragster in the front row. Got murdered with bugs, but it was fantastic. And here it goes. Healing go. out. What did you guys think of Dragster? Awesome. Great. That great was insane. And I'm a great adventure fanboy myself, but this is better than Cobb. I was sitting there thinking, let's get a rollback, and we... we no, that was Yeah, no, so we are bad. flying. The ejector bad. on the top is just... Well, the the roll back. Yeah, and then it just flew over. So, between this, Magnum, Gemini, I mean, this is nuts. We just got two Steel Vengeance Night Rides. That was insane. This thing is hauling ass, no question. What'd no you guys trimming. think? No tri barely no trimming. trimming. Barely trimming. Like, we were getting laterals in that turn after the course what'd you guys think it was absolutely oh. insane I've hey that was it like that was unbelievable i think we're gonna head to maverick next we just finished up our night here at coaster mania at cedar point i forgot to uh film one inside the park we were just kind of walking out but this event was spectacular between the ert in the morning the buffet q a and the ert at night it was fantastic um some big takeaways steel vengeance was incredible that tonight it was hauling ass and there was no trims uh, Maverick, great as always. Same with uh, Millennium Force. Dragster was really, really good. Magnum with no trims is something that everyone needs to experience, but I think you can only experience it here. Uh, it's insane though. Raptor's great. Gatekeeper's great. There's so many great rides here, and we had a great time. If you guys had a great time watching this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.